Good morning. It is another beautiful day out here. It's it's the week before Memorial Day in 2021. So it's starting to warm up. We've had unseasonably cool weather here in Virginia. And now this week we're gonna have unseasonably warm weather in Virginia. So it's gonna be in the 90s t starting today and for the next few days. So I've been working on getting the pool ready. And it's almost there. I've got to do a final clean out and I'm still trying to add more water to it. I add about, I run the hose in there about an hour a day and it's just not quite filling up. I need a few good rains. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we are going to cull out all of the quail that were in the grow out cage of the 81 eggs that I incubated and of the 68 quail that we got out of that hatch. The ones that didn't sell are the ones that are gonna go in the freezer today. So we've got about 17 in there and those are gonna go in the freezer today. The chickens are very active and talkative today. They wanna come out and help us, but they're gonna stay in the yard today. So yeah, a couple of guys are coming over today and it's actually two of the guys that I've sold quail to, two of the three people, and uh, the guys, neither one of them have cleaned quail before, so ironically, I'm gonna show them how to do it, and I've only done it a few times, but it really is that easy to clean a quail. Then, I'll have my brooder cage open again, and maybe I'll grow some more and sell them, because that seemed to be a pretty good deal. So people don't wanna go through the hatching part but they don't mind getting baby quail. So I thought, okay, I can, I can probably do that. My birds are very docile. Um, they've, they've, come from, they've come from, the original stock they came from was from my Shire Farms, and I've had really good luck with them. One of the things we're gonna do after we clean all these quail is we're gonna throw them on the barbie and have them for lunch. So nothing like fresh meat for a meal. And you'll also recall one of my other projects is my black soldier fly bin. And at this point, I have seen a few adult soldier fly in here. So I know that they're present. I don't know if they're laying eggs. I need to turn this over and see what's going on in here. And so I'm gonna get out my shovel and see what's going on. And hopefully we'll start generating some black soldier fly larvae here pretty soon. I don't see any evidence right on the top but hopefully they'll come out soon. So really it looks like there are a couple of issues involved in the black soldier fly bin. One, I don't think I have nearly enough food in here um, for them to consume, so they're not really showing up. Plus, it's you noticed it was pretty dry. So being that dry, they're probably not gonna show up to lay their eggs. So I'll spray some water in here and help moisten it a little bit because I have the roof on it and because it's been so hot and so dry lately um, humidity's been down in the 30s for the past week or so so the humidity's been real low so even though I've seen a couple of adult soldier flies I don't see any larvae and this morning I only actually saw one fly maggot so even those are dying out so um, yeah this is a this is still a work in progress. It's still an experiment. I need to get a lot more, a lot more food for them in here. Another thing that I want to point out is, I don't know if you noticed, I put one of the, on the four bolts that I have the hangers on, I put one of those egg catchers on there. So we'll see if that works too when I get this a little bit wet and get some more food in here. We'll see if that helps draw the flies. So something else I've got going on in my grow out cage is, I've got at least two females in there because I'm getting eggs, two eggs daily out of them. So we're gonna go through and 
as we get ready to call these out today, we're going to go through and sex them and we're going to take out the females um, because the guys want the hens and so we're going to take those out of there. And so the hens will be able to survive, but all the rest of these boys are going to be uh, lunch for today. All right, so here we are with a couple friends and we're going to try and clean some quail. For them, it's the first time. Um, for me, I've done this a couple of times now. So we're going to go through the process of how to kill it and then clean it out. And we're, we're just going to do it the easy way. Take the skin off, spatchcock them, and just make it easy. I forgot, we also have to identify two females in here because I'm getting two eggs out of there. So we're going to save out the hens and just call out the roosters. Feather sexing doesn't seem to work too well with some of these birds, especially the ones that are all blonde or all one color so I have to find out which ones for sure are the females and which ones are the males okay so we're trying to identify which one's male which one's female and this is the first time i've ever vent sexed a, a quail and so I'll just reach in and grab one out grab one out and look and you can see on the vent there's like foam there and that's how you know this one's a male. So this one will be on the barbecue sometime a little bit later. All right, so we're, oh, lost one. Yeah, I'll get it. Hey, come here. <laughs> the chickens are like, I'll help. Okay. Oh, well, that one might get away. She get onto the porch? I'll grab him. So then this is the, this is the, the way that I learned from New York attorney. Put your hand over, the finger over like that, thumb like this, and you kind of lock it in. And you just pull and twist. And the head pops right off. And then he'll bleed out and he'll squirm all over the place for a little while. You'll feel it squirming and it'll get real tight. Like right now, I mean, his whole body's just quivering all over. Yeah, it's not that hard. Especially when we have lunch, you'll find out, okay, it ain't too hard. <laughs> So it doesn't take long, and you'll see the feathers will start relaxing. Mm -hmm. I saw that. that, that the, I learned a lot from that, that guy's channel. Yeah, New York Eternic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Well, all of them. All of them. Him and um, Harry down yeah. in Florida. Um, What's that old Caternic's guy? Corner. That's it. That's yeah. it. All right, so now you peel the skin at the brush. So just kind of peel it open. There you go. And then it just kind of all peels off. That's, that's a trick. Uh, you cut the whole... It can be a little bit tough, but it'll peel off. There you go. Let me just clip up the backbone. Yep, just make sure you don't get uh, any of the organs inside, so kind of try and stay close to the top as you no, can. Kind of, is it, it they, no? Yeah, no, yep. you're right. You can even start at the I'm neck if you neck. if that's, you wanted to. You can do that. That's how yep. I usually do chickens. Either, either way. Okay. You save the heart. Nope, I don't save any of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to just eat it right now, uh, take no. on the spirit of the animal. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, it's gonna be Rice Krispies all over. There, <laughs> Yep, as long as it's all cleaned out, then that's it. And just throw them in the water. And then, of course, we'll rinse them off again before we get them ready. So I'll fill that up with water. I got to do it, so. You got to do it. And at least they're not yours. Here, let me hold this for you. They're not going to get out of the way. The worst that can happen is my dog gets one. And she'll bring it to me. She won't, she won't eat it. So then you, you remember, you just kind of put your index finger over his neck and your thumb on the backside and kind of lock it in. And then pull and twist and put it down in the bin. There you go. After a couple of times, I'll be all right. Yep. So tell me what you think. I think I'm a faint. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, after a couple of times, I'll be okay. So if you if you recall all of the times that um, that I talk about this, uh, a lot of times, this is why I tell my kids we don't name food. You know what? Back in the day, this is how food was main was obtained. You didn't go to the grocery store and pick up a package of cleaned meat. That's all in, in the last 
75 to 100 years. Before that, this is how we ate. Yeah. And this is, and this is, this really is the fact of life. So if you remember from a bug's life or whichever one it was, it's that whole circle of life thing. Okay, so for, for the channel, tell me what you think. It gets easier after the first one, I guess. Yeah, I, I would say the same. Uh, so, yeah, first thoughts. First time killing a quail. Not bad. Yeah, not that bad. All right, so we're going to take the rest of these out. We're going to finish cleaning them, and we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, during the time that we were calling all the rest of them, when we opened the cage one time, one of them got out, and I chased it all around the yard, and I couldn't catch it. So it finally went underneath the patio. So um, my patio underneath is all gravel, so I went and got my knee pads, and I'm going to go see if I can get it out. Ah, he went through. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> you catch it? All right. Good job, man. All right, so we got out, got her out, got him out from under the porch, and Derek's gonna dispatch it and clean it. <laughs> that's the part he doesn't like doing is dispatching, and that's okay. You always got friends around who can, uh, who can take care of the dispatching part. Cleaning is easy. It's getting easier. It's getting easier. All right, so we're in the kitchen now with the quail, and of course we were shooting the breeze, so I forgot to record this part. But I added salt, pepper, garlic, basil, paprika, and a little bit of lemon-infused olive oil, and we're gonna throw them on the grill just like that, and see how they come out. I've never grilled them before, so it's all an adventure. And then we're gonna eat them. That part we've all done. Throw some potatoes on there. Go grill up the quail and then eat. Oh man, with those spices that I put on there, you should smell this. It's, it smells delicious, especially that lemon garlic, or the, the lemon um, olive oil that I used on there. But with all the other spices that are in there, oh, these things smell delicious. And they're cooking up just fine. Okay, so we finished with lunch, and that was the first time I did barbecue, and I thought it was great. And so what do you guys think of the day? It was good. Yeah. Enjoyable day. Learned a lot. A lot of good information. Yeah. Food was great. Met another friend. That's it. Yeah. That's what it's all about. The circle of friends is growing, so that's good too. This is, you saw them in the cage this morning, and that's what's left. <laughs> They'll go to the worm bin. As always, thanks for watching. Always uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Right, right? That's right. Like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that fun stuff. And until next time, cheers. See you later. Cool. Cheers. <laughs>